So I just want to give you some encouragement today, and I want you to remember that everything in this world requires a tremendous amount of dedication. And um, as Jimmy Cliff says, it, you can get it if you really want, but you must try, 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 try. So I want you to remember that, that it is super important. I think about all the things that are impactful in this world that, that matter, you know, from Michelangelo's work to um, Leonardo da Vinci's to paying off your, your home to saving for your first car, for um, having a, a beautiful marriage. All of these kind of things take a tremendous amount of work and dedication to actually get there. Some of them have some excitement that's associated with them, but others are just grinding work. And it just takes grinding work to actually accomplish that thing. And I really want to talk about that and give you some encouragement. So if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Maslach. I'm an Associate Professor of Innovation Strategy and Entrepreneurship. And I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There's so many people that help me out that I want to pay the favor forward to help you out. So I'm actually, this is kind of like a documentary. This whole reciprocity project is a documentary of a professor trying to build um, something, to build this sort of entrepreneurial venture, the reciprocity project, which is you know, this editing platform where you can get feedback on your work and me getting frustrated with it, with the, the development process, me getting frustrated with trying to figure out how to like, connect with you to, to get people to sort of see what it is. It's my frustrations of dealing with work, um, my regular job, um, you know, all of this kind of stuff. And, you know, there's lots of days you could see some of these things. I got really, really frustrated. Um, and I get really like, I just kind of give up on myself. But every project, and I was reflecting on this this morning as I was listening to Jimmy Cliff, by the way, go and listen to the song, it's an amazing song. Um, you, can, you can get it if you really want, go check it out. So, um, and I was listening to that and as I was doing this, I really was thinking about everything that we can all possibly do, whether it is getting a degree, for example, whether it is paying off um, your mortgage, whether it is, you know, building the Great Wall of China, whether it's building pyramids, whatever that stuff is, when you're in it, you feel terrible and you feel like you don't want to sort of move forward. However, you know, you got to have that unbelievable determination or grind or grit or whatever that you get up every day and you keep doing it no matter what actually happens. And you disregard everything that goes on around you and all the people that are saying different things and saying that you're crazy and stupid and all of those kind of things. And you just got to keep going no matter what actually happens. And I think it is an important lesson for everybody to realize this, all goals, all things that are important take a long time. It doesn't matter what it is. If you want a, a healthy marriage, it's gonna take a long time to work on that. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, if you want great kids that don't grow up to, you know, to, like I say, that are, that are not in a strip club or serial killers, uh, it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of work to work with them, to coach them, to deal with all of the sort of things that goes on in life. And, you know, being there, uh, being a role model and showing them like, the, like part of this, this whole reciprocity project is to show um, other people that are near and dear to me just how much dedication it takes to do these kind of things. So if they choose to do it in the future, they will... Um, you know, no, they're, they're going to lose faith in themselves. And that is completely normal. They're going to feel like frustrated. And that's completely normal. But you get up and you get going. And you, you just don't let any of that kind of stuff bother you. You disregard all of the nonsense that goes on, no matter what is going on. You know, there's this story of, of grit, right? We've heard about this, the Angela Duckworth's um, sort of work where you know, it just takes unbelievable amount of grit. But it's more than that. It's not just grit, right? Like it's not just like putting your head down, but it's ignoring 
and disregarding absolutely everybody else's saying stupid things about you. You you feel unusual, you feel weird, you're 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 not fitting in, right? And and that's really what it is, is you see the world as it is and you disregard it. Um, and what's going on around you. You just put up your blinders and you keep taking those steps forward every day, no matter what happens. And you just gotta just be determined, you know, just just step up and keep going. And everybody else is going to be saying how crazy that is. And what are you doing? You're wasting your time. This is stupid. But at the end of the day, like, that's what we do as human beings. That's what we do as organisms. We sort of take a stand on something and we push forward and then you know ultimately we die but at least we've done something at that point and then that allows somebody else to take charge after that um, and do something else so I'd encourage you no matter what is going on and what's going on in your life um, and all of the external pressures for you to like stop and to give up and you know, um, all of those internal pressures where you feel like that, like this is a dumb idea, what the hell am I doing here? Um, all of that stuff is just a stupid world like um, pushing in on you. But really you need to take the steps forward and disregard all of that stuff, put up your blinders and keep taking those steps because you never know what's going to happen. It could turn into something absolutely, truly amazing. And the only way that you can get there is take those steps every day and, and then allow that to happen. If you don't do it, it's not going to happen. You're the only person that can take charge and do these things yourself. Um, everybody else is not going to do it for you. In fact, they're going to hold you back. You're going to do things despite what everybody else says and does around you. You're going to have a rare individual that's going to give you encouragement to push you forward and to do good things in this world. You just simply have to say, hey, I'm doing this. They're not going to be proud of you. You have to be proud of it by doing it yourself. And that's it. That's all that matters. At the end of the day, it's just having that self-pride that you've actually did it. You stood up and you pushed against the world, despite the fact that the world is pushing you around, that you had the courage to push against the world and create something really, really cool. And the story that I want to tell you is in Atacocan, Ontario. So I'm from northern Ontario, northwestern Ontario, middle of nowhere. Tiny little town, got 6,000 people that live there. And there's an even smaller town, two hours from Dryden, Ontario. Um, and it's got maybe five, 600 people that live there, maybe 1,000 people that live there. It's called Atacocan, Ontario. And somebody had the gumption many years ago to build a castle. Um, you have to take a canoe to actually get there. And somebody had the gumption to build a castle out of, um, you know, it's a log cabin. You can look it up. It's called the White Outer Castle. And they had the gumption to build this thing in the middle of nowhere. And now people come from all around the area to go look at this. And they canoe out to go look at this because it's so impressive. So what I want to encourage you to do is build your own White Outer Castle. And you do it not for everybody else to go look at it, but you do it for yourself. That's it. Do it for yourself and push forward. Create your white otter castle. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.